Urbanisation, but what does that actually mean? What are some of the factors that affect urbanisation? And what are some of the challenges we face with increasing urbanisation around the world? morning and welcome back to another Sunday morning coffee video. So today we're going to start looking at paper two topics and focus on the term urbanization. Now in future videos I'm going to look at the case studies in a lot more detail. So I'm going to be looking at Rio and I'm going to be looking at London. So we first need to consider what we actually mean by the term urbanization. Urbanization refers to the population moving from rural to urban areas. It also indicates the decrease in the proportion of people living in rural areas and the ways in which society is adapting to this change. World urban population has been steadily increasing from the 1950s. There is a trend of seeing a sharp increase of urbanization in LIC and NEEs compared to the slowing down of the rate of urbanization in HICs. So what actually causes the growth of cities and an increase in urban population? Now we can break this down into two main factors, migration and natural increase. Migration can be classed as internal migration and international migration. So it's very common that people would move from rural to urban areas within the same country, while international migration sees people move from a different country. Natural increase is the difference between the numbers of births and deaths. We therefore see better healthcare and more families. We can also identify whether somebody wants to move away from the countryside and towards the city and these are known as push and pull factors. Some common push factors that force people to move from rural communities could include lack of jobs, poor education, poor health care. While when we look at pull factors there could be a variety of well-paid jobs that attract people to cities, there is also a higher quality of life within a city with better access to healthcare and better access to education. Now this continued increase of urbanization around the world has led to the growth of megacities. Now we're gonna define a megacity of a city that contains more than 10 million people. In 1975, there were four megacities. Today, that has risen to over 20. London is not actually classed as a megacity because it does not have a population of over 10 million people. We often see issues associated with this fast urbanisation in LICs. These areas are unable to meet new demand for increased population. This could be because of poor infrastructure and services. We could see high crime rates. Slums could develop and that would be due to lack of affordable housing and we also see lots of pollution. When it comes to investigating the impacts of urbanisation in the UK, as well as some other HIC countries, we see a growing trend of improving the efficiency of transport systems, protecting green spaces, and the development of sustainable cities, which utilise renewable energy sources. In the next episode, I'm going to be investigating the case study of Rio de Janeiro, which gives us a really good example of urban challenges and opportunities. Thanks for watching my breakdown of urbanisation. Now, please give this video a like if you found it useful, subscribe to the channel for more, and tune in next week where I'm going to start looking at some case studies of urbanisation around the world.